Monday, folks. If you watched my video last night, you'll know that I made some char fungus. So here's the result. Uh, I had to pull it out of the fire, and it felt like it was maintaining a coal inside for a long time. So to make up for that, I buried it. But here's the end result. As you can see, it's uh, it's pretty dark. So, <clears throat> this is the type of fungus that I used. So you can see, it's normally dark but not totally blackened. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw a spark on this with my handy dandy ferro rod. And we're gonna see what happens. Yeah, okay, here we go. Now, what I'm going to do is try not to get my fingers in the way of the camera, but I'm going to pull this back, leaving my striker forward. It helps to direct the sparks where you want them without having any issues with, um, uh, what you call it, showering them away. So, here we go. One strike. This one got it too. So we're just going to go ahead and give that a little help. See now these fungus are really great for maintaining a spark or uh, maintaining an ember, rather, once you have it. But if you char this fungus, you can literally drop a spark on it and it will go. In my opinion, by far, the best fire starter there is, uh, tender-wise, that you can char. Better than char cloth, And if you go to the right place, it's abundant. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, just go ahead and get this birch bark lit. So, we're going to come over here. All right, we're going to throw some little wood chips down there on that.
there we have it. Had to dig the char claw, uh, sorry, the char fungus out of the ground because it was smoldering too much last night and it rained. So it's still raining as we speak, actually. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. I mean, you can see the moisture on my grill, on my deck. I mean, it's definitely wet. But here we go. Fire start challenge complete. Have a good day, everyone.